Hi guys. Well, that was weird. Um, here is my A5 folio. Uh, I got it from Galen Leather. Galen, Galen. And I had my eye on this for probably a year and a half to two years. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but this year for my birthday, I finally got it. So it was a momentous occasion for me. Um, so I thought I would show you how I set it up because I love it and you can just swap out whatever notebooks you want at the time. I usually keep this one in it, but sometimes I'll switch it out depending on what I'm using. But it's so nice just to have all your stickers and washi tape and everything right there so you can bring it with you. I don't have anything in the pen loops right now because I find it's hard to close with the thickness of my journal. Uh, so this envelope, I just put little, like, some stickers, some uh, cutouts, like that random cat. Um, yeah, just, like, loose stickers so they don't go everywhere. And more loose stickers. That one I used up. Yep, there's a lot of them in there, but most of them are used. But I like to keep the paper so I can put it in people's letters just add some stickers to it so yeah and in here I have uh, some photos and cutouts stuff that are a little bit bigger and in this little envelope I have stickers that I printed myself online some are photos that I want to tape in or stick into my journal memories and such so Again, just all the loose leaf little bits that I don't want flying around all over my folio. So yeah. Uh, these are little washi tape samples. So I put them on sort of credit card sized plastic things. It's really nice to have these for when I'm out because then I don't have to bring my actual washi tape. And I can kind of switch them out um, whenever I finish some of them. Uh, sorry about the wobbly camera. My setup is on sort of a wire holder and I put my phone on there so yeah it gets wobbly sometimes. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah in here I've got lots of like postcards. This was <laughs> it's for my friend Melissa which I need to put in her letter because I've given her a letter since I got that and I totally forgot so yeah, that was from a store in Portland. Super cute. I think I got this in a letter. Can't remember. Uh, I have sort of sheets of sticker paper that I just use from old pages of stickers once I've used them up and I just peel off the, I don't know, the leftover bits and then I can use it for stickers. And this is my first sticker book. I love sticker books because you just have all your stickers with you and you can choose which ones you want and then keep swapping them out. And then once you use a bunch, you're like, ooh, which stickers am I going to go get today? And then you go through your whole collection and you just put them in your sticker book. That's actually one of my favorite things to do. I feel like such a nerd, but I'll get my new stickers in a booklet or whatever and I'll go through them and I'll choose which ones I want to have in my sticker book at that time and then I'll just stick them in and I can do that for hours and I find it so fun. These are new. Um, I cut them in half because they wouldn't fit uh, inside the little pocket if I didn't so I just kind of cut it down the middle. Yeah and there we go that's kind of how I set up my folio and I love it so much. This is camel, camel, crazy camel brown? Yeah, I, or no, crazy horse brown, I think. Or camel. I don't know, it's so, something like that. I just did these extra B roll shots for you because I know you just need some more, need some more pretty shots. I get it flip through of my journal. I actually did about over half of this book in the span of a week and then I slowed down real hard and it's taken me a while after that to do it but I was doing a lot of journaling for a while 
was when I went to Portland uh, to visit my friend Sarah. So yeah, just going to show you all this stuff again because why not? Also the video short, so <laughs> more footage. Yeah, do you guys like stickers and sticker books? Comment below, I would love to hear. Uh, these are, this is when I was planning my Animal Crossing Island, so I was writing all the villagers I wanted, but this was also before I realized I wanted to do a Neverland theme, so they don't all quite go with it, but yeah, that's okay, and this was a journaling page I did a couple days ago, and had a lot of fun adding little watercolor sort of rain details, yeah, goodbye! Hi guys, so um, I filmed that video probably a week ago, yeah, um, but since then um, I was really struggling with using my A5 folio for everything, like I had a full backpack full of different notebooks and I hate that, so I had my traveler's notebook separately, I had uh, the folio with my journal in it. I had my sketchbook in there. I had my pencil case and my other pencil case. So it was just a lot of different things. So since then I have revised my um, setup in here. So I thought I would just show that to you because um, it's just a much better setup. So here we have the beautiful A5 folio and open it now and I have my traveler's notebook inside because you can just put all the different notebooks inside of it and so it's all in one. Plus, I use this every day for my planner and so I have to have it with me. Anyways, yeah, it just was too much. So you've already seen what's in here, but I'll show you um, the new setup. These are just post-it notes that I have. Um, this notebook I'm using as sort of a everything book slash sketchbook. My friend made it for me actually for Christmas and it's filled with really nice beautiful paper. Um, I was using it just for Animal Crossing notes at first because um, I was trying to figure out my island. Um, but that's uh, what I wanted to do with my new uh, front entrance area for my island, but when I decided I wanted to put everything in here, then I thought, okay, let's go to the fun stuff. I thought, let's just use it as a sketchbook, because I didn't have um, any other books at the time, and why not just use my stuff? Okay, this is all earlier stuff I've done, but yeah, so... Got some fun doodles in there, some stickers. This was when I was testing out gouache. Um, did a little Skillshare class, so that was cool. It's hard, but uh, it helped to take the class. <laughs> There's freckles. And then I just did little doodles here. I always add cats to my doodles. So they're so easy to draw. Um, and then like clippings and stuff. So I'm going to finish this book fully and just add in any like sketchbooks. And then I bought a new... A sketchbook I can put in once that's done because use your stuff. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, this um, is a new insert that I just got at a store in Steveston at Nikaido, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I put a sticker of BMO and just added like all these extra stickers so it looks like a full little scene like this like tiara and like a burger and juice box and flowers. That was pretty fun. It's like paper dolls, but stickers. Um, so this journal is just my writing journal for 
like whatever's on my mind, just getting stuff out. Uh, I just actually got my fountain pen working when I went to Nikaido. Um, they cleaned out my fountain pen so it works now. So I got a whole bunch of fun inks. Um, yeah, so I just write, put little like derpy stickers sometimes because it's fun. But I'm really enjoying uh, writing in this because the paper is really nice and my fountain pen's super fun to work with. And I've been watching this girl's videos um, just about all her vintage fountain pens. Adventure Denali or something? Yeah, so I've been just watching all her videos over and over again. So got me really inspired to use my own fountain pen. And it's been just a really nice daily thing to do. I just started it and I've written already like quite a bit. So that's that. And then um, you've already seen... In the last video my planner but I'll show you the new page yeah so I just put a whole bunch of little little pusheen cats and um, these stickers I got these from Aliexpress ordered it a while ago they finally came so that's fun adding all those and then I started decorating for next week already because I wanted to put little sloth uh, stickers so that's fun <laughs> and actually these are scratch and sniff oh, smells like candy and summer <laughs> so yeah that's been really fun I stick in the back some stickers I took out a lot of the stickers I originally had in here to put um, in the back of this but um, yeah, I just have a lot of stickers, so I just wanted to put that in there, too. Uh, I'll show you my fountain pen, um, in my really cool, um, uh, pen and, or peg and, peg and owl, yeah, Sendak Mini, which I got a, a couple years ago, and I just use it all the time, because it's super handy for all my pencils and pens and whatever I want at the time. So here's my setup currently. Um, I have two fountain pens. Well, three actually. Um, this is my drawing fountain pen. It is a Lamy Safari. And I don't like it for writing very much because it is kind of scratchy. Um, but let's see if it'll focus. So yeah, I use that for my drawings. I used to use it all the time, but uh, recently I started to use it again in my sketchbook, so that's been cool. And then this fountain pen is a Faber-Castell. Um, it is super smooth, actually. It's medium nib, and it's just, it's a really smooth writer. I never see Faber-Castell pens on people's lists, so I don't think I didn't think they're like great, but it, it's smoother than like any of the ones I tried at the store the other day. Cause I was like, oh, maybe this pen doesn't work and I have to get a new one. But all the ones I tried were just kind of scratchy. And maybe it's cause it was a fine nib. I don't know, but it's really nice. So yeah, I got some fun inks. I got um, a cafe brown ink turquoise, uh, coral, and olive green. And they're all little cartridges, which actually don't last very long, I realized. Um, I think I went through the first cartridge for um, the brown in a day. I was writing quite a bit, but still. Yeah, anyways, I'll probably just end up eventually getting... Um, full ink bottles. I have ones actually, but they are in storage. So maybe eventually I will go get those. I don't think there are any like fun colors though. I think it's just black. So, oh, oh obsession, I'm gonna spend money. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I just thought I would give you that um, update because I now use this every day and this is all I need, this and this pencil case. So in my backpack, um, that's basically all I have, and that's so much nicer than having, like, five 
books in there and being like, okay, which which book do I need right now? And then sorting through them all. I need to take my own advice because I made a class a while ago called Journal All the Things and it's all about putting everything in one journal so that you use it. Yeah, so. Anyways, good morning or evening or whenever you're watching this and thanks for watching my videos. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and comment. I love seeing your guys' comments. Uh, any suggestions for videos? And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.